All right, I'm working on a new intro. I want you guys to help me out. I've created this all by myself. I think it's gonna look fly on camera. Let's test it out, all right? So let me just get into position. All right, so it starts off with like a little clap action, kind of like, then you. Hello guys, well, no, I feel like that's been done before. I've seen that somewhere. It's not gonna work, disregard it. So I feel like there's this misconception that sexy fragrances and all these top 10, top 50, top 7,000 lists have to be catered to a specific younger demographic, the after work crowd, the working crowd, the young bucks, the parties, the clubbers. But we forget about a particular demographic which is full of time, wisdom, energy, and these motherfuckers can still nut. It is my sexy grandpas. Why we be forgetting them? My salt and pepper fam. A silver foxes. We be putting them away, bro. I want to be a sexy ass grandpa. I want to be a rich, sexy grandpa with multiple wives of a younger demographic. So just roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on the 10 fragrances that'll help you smell like a sexy grandpa. OGs, oh, focus. I'm kind of a big sexy motherfucker. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 3 u 3 3 a This is a different topic, but I don't think it's been touched upon. Like, I start looking at my analytics and I'm like, yo, I got some older cats that are possibly grandpas in this game that are still sexy motherfuckers. Like, why are we leaving them high out to dry? Why are we telling them, yo, when you go clubbing or when you go after work, this motherfucker rich, probably retired, chilling, living his best life, smoking a cigar on his back porch, looking at deer's frolic and shit, or, tra or traveling all over the world, finally spending that 401k that he, that he put to work moons ago. He's not gonna assimilate with these little young dumb fucks. So let's help them smell sexy too. Uncle Cuba's here to help you, baby. So the first fragrance I picked out to have you smell like a sexy ass grandpa is Baldi Serini by Hugo Boss. This is fucking nice. I'll smell like a sexy grandpa all day, fam. It's a beautiful citrusy tobacco fragrance with a little bit of Middle Eastern spice and bright bitter oranges that is really beautiful. It's very sexy, very mature, very classy. Tweed blazer with the suede elbow pad type vibe. But honestly, like, I rock this shit all day. Now it's listed as an eau de cologne concentration, but it has way better performance than a cologne concentration would. I think this is a spectacular fragrance. I mean, you're gonna smell like a sexy ass grandpa. And trust me, going to the grocery store, she's gonna be taking a little glance at you, you know what I'm saying? Might be because your nuts are hanging out of your shorts, but that's fine, mine do now too. Next one. This fragrance right here, means the world to me. This will forever be in my stash, even if it goes rotten or bitter, this particular bottle. But it means the world to me. Uh, this was one of my grandpa's uh, favorite fragrances. Uh, and it's a little morbid, but I mean, it's sentimental to me because this is the fragrance when he passed that I sprayed to him in his casket. So this was his thing. He went away smelling fantastic as he always made sure on a daily basis that he smelled like a true G. And it's by the house of Van Cleef and Arpel. And that's Sar. I haven't looked at the notes of this fragrance in a long time and in looking at it now, it's in abundance of notes in this shit. Like green, lavender, artigma, rosemary, bergamot, coriander, cinnamon, neroli, pine tree, juniper berry, carnation, tarragon, geranium, caraway, jasmine, rose. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And, man. <sighs> Special as fuck. You're definitely gonna smell like a sexy ass grandpa. My grandpa was a sexy motherfucker. And yeah, it's amazing. Next one. This next fragrance is by a content creator and he's a gentleman, a refined individual and created a great fragrance. This is by Mr. Smellies and that's Gravitas. You definitely gonna smell like a sexy old man. Rocking this shit. This is a great fragrance. He really knocked that out of the park. This is literally an old school refined individual, but beautiful brightness and thickness and layers on this fragrance. Very classy, very gentlemanly, elegant fragrance that will absolutely have you smelling like the ultimate silver fox with a lot of, you know, stamina. Next one. This brawlic beast is not for the faint of heart. Chanel and Teas. 
is a fucking grenade. Not for the faint of heart. This is a grenade of power and performance. There's no young buck, not even early 20s, that can really pull this fragrance off. You need to have a book of stories that you can sit down in a rocker and really share these stories and have people entertained, bewildered, shocked, crying. I mean, you need to have so much life lived to wear this fragrance and really help bring it all together like in one cohesive unit. This is an incredible, incredible fragrance that isn't for everybody, but it's definitely for that sexy OG. Next one. There's a lot of young grandpas out there and we can't knock the hustle, you know what I'm saying? You was piping real early and your kids followed suit. So this fragrance by Dolce & Gabbana, Velvet Vetiver, it's that younger sexy grandpa. Dry, woody, sexy, tart, citric. That's appeal for sure. And this one can be worn by a younger dude. Doesn't necessarily have to be the old sexy grandpa. I don't feel that someone in their 20s can really pull this joint off. Their PAs, their skin hasn't gone through the transition of masculinity yet. They don't even know how to wipe their own ass yet. So this one is definitely for more of a mature individual that likes a beautiful mass appealing DNA by the house of Dolce & Gabbana with a nice vetiver kick, beautiful dry woods, and a nice airiness with great sillage that this fragrance has. It is a slept on fragrance, not one that I reach for a lot, but I'm getting older, so I might. Next one. I was wearing this shit in my late 20s, early 30s, but this is absolutely one of the best gentlemanly fragrances in the Tom Ford lineup, and that's Tom Ford's For Men. As you can see, this has been in my stash for a long time and has gotten a lot of wears. Uncle Kuba used to wear a lot of suits, a lot of button ups, a lot of ties, every single day. Not no more Jack, and it hasn't been in a very long time. Thank God. It's been a while since I sprayed this joint. I just wanna... Damn, oof. It brings me back to the first time that I smelled this fragrance. I was like, yes, this is pure class. Pure fucking class. That tobacco and gingery vibe, this bright sparkling champagne effervescence that you get. You get that shiver down your spine when you can really pinpoint like, this is a perfect complimentary fragrance to wear with a suit. 100% guaranteed. It should be a freshly polished pair of shoes, a beautiful belt, a great made to measure suit, and a briefcase that has wear on it. This is masculinity, gentlemanly grandpa, that handsome grandpa that's super successful, refuses to retire, and is still rocking shit, looking amazing with the baldy, but he's slick to the sides on point, sitting at the helm of the boardroom, still showing that big dick swinging at 70 something can still Pull some hoes, next one. I mean, if we're going from that to a neighboring boardroom across town, he's definitely rocking that Royal Oud. Creed's Royal Oud is phenomenal. This is not just for sexy grandpas. I pull this shit out on the regular. And if you think I'm a grandpa, I mean, I look like one. What are you gonna do? Incredible, peppery, spicy, woody, phenomenal fragrance. I could just keep this shit under my nose all day and be Gucci. It's like black pepper, red pepper. Just an overall masculine ass spice. Just an overall masculine spice with this gorgeous DNA that performs outstanding in the cold weather. If you live in a place that actually has four seasons in the fall and winter, if this is not in your staple piece, I don't know what to tell you. This is always gets worn at least once, because obviously I have variety. This always gets worn at least once in the winter time because it has to make a statement on that peak coat or on that big bubble or something. Sexy Grandpa's is coming back. 70 is the new 60. Next one. This brand not only makes incredible suits, incredible suits, and is only known by people with money, and that's Brioni, Brioni EDT. Money. It's a great designer fragrance that really doesn't get any love at all. It's a little bit unusual with the oud and licorice vibe, but it's so sexy when it's on skin that people really sleep on it. I could see like Gianluca Vacchi 
you know, rocking this type of shit. Yeah, he looks like a grandpa, although he's just a dad. His look, just like mine, is that silver fox, sexy, ripped individual. I don't know how I refer myself to a millionaire that has like billions of people following him that is absolutely jack ripped and has a model wife. I'm close with that. And here I am with more tits than a female cow. It is what it is. Brioni EDT, absolutely stellar, oud, citric, licorice, sexy. Hey grandmas, beware. Grandpa's coming. Now this next one doesn't get a lot of wear from me, I'll be honest with you. This is definitely a lot older, but the neroli in here is a little prominent, but it is a sexy fragrance for those who like neroli. For me though, it don't work. So just cause it don't work for me, don't mean it can't work for you. And I'm not a grandpa yet, so who knows? This is Obigon Cologne Intense. <sighs> Let me prep myself. It is a handsome fragrance, but the shit is that it has petty grain and neroli. So it's like two of the things that just remind me of baby ass. But if we put it into context, when we get really, really old and geriatric, we turn back into babies. Motherfuckers is rocking the pens and shit and somebody has to help us wipe our ass. So it's kind of a full circle or as the Lion King would say, the circle of life. It is a very, very handsome fragrance. Absolutely reminds me of a handsome grandpa, but not something that I personally would wear because of those two things, the heavy petty grain and Nergoli vibes that a lot of people love, even my boy Ja, but I just don't rock with. Just cause I don't rock with it, doesn't mean it won't work for you. Trust me, this has a lot of masculinity and sex appeal for that grandpa in grandma. Next one. And this last fragrance is a very simple yet elegantly done fragrance by a house that just knows how to do it by the house of Guerlain and that's Vetiver. It, that's it, Vetiver. Let me get a test trip. It's been a mighty minute since I've smelled this joint. So I just wanna see what I'm getting from this shit. Holy hell. Yeah, it's got petty green kind of vibes too. Shit. Kind of smells like that. What's the shit? The man, Jean, uh, Jean Nate. This smells like Jean Nate body splash, 100%. Jean Nate body splash, only really well done. Wow, that just, that does smell like Jean Nate, like on like steroids. Mm. It's like tobacco, cumin, citric, sour. It's definitely in a roll in here. But this, Definitely smells like a sexy, sexy silver fox. This was a fun ass list. It brought me back a little emo. It got some sexy OG fragrances on deck. You don't have to be a 20, 30, some odd, can't wipe your ass, TikToker twerking and shit to smell phenomenal. I have some older dudes who be watching my channel and maybe some young dudes wanna share this fragrance experience with their OGs and really have a beautiful bonding experience like I was fortunate to have. I didn't start off in the fragrance space out of nothing. I didn't just pop out of the scene. This was something that my grandfather was truly, truly, truly passionate about that I kind of disregarded to a point where it just became second nature. And when I really started to steal some of his shit and use it, it, we became, it became like our thing, our bonding experience. I hope this kind of video can help you maybe kind of like build a bond with your OG. If this is something that you guys can relate on or maybe you can bring him into your world of fragrance and you guys can share beautiful moments together that, you know, will last forever. So, uh, ah, I'm getting a little emo, fuck! I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Wow, got emo, smooches. Who I know? Who I know? Who I know? What's fresh? Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who I know? For the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag. When it's time to call back. For the rough rugged and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you was.